Jake Dunn here for the Mental Health Commission of Canada. Work, boy, is not all as cracked up to be, is it? I mean, because you take it. Work is after killing millions and millions of workers. Oh, yeah, work is a very dangerous place for your health. And yet, most mornings, just like everybody else, I hauls myself up out of the bunk and heads down here to my, my place of work. And I don't mind telling you this, mostly because of Chunk Chalker, the new foreman, my mind just starts in racing and spinning like one of them long-tailed rats on one of them wire wheels going around and around and around in that wheel. That wheel is squeaking and is saying, shag them, you're nothing but a patsy for chunk chalk or date. Eat the bosses, shag them, and on and on and on until I just can't take it anymore. My, my eyes fill up with blood and, and, and fear and, and my rage knows no bounds. And I... I just don't know what to do with that, you know, on the job. Did you ever get that? So, turns out I'm the one of the one in five Canadians who are suffering from some kind of what they call mental health problem. What am I supposed to do about that? I can't very well talk to Chunk Chalker about it, can I? Oh, sure, I know. I know everybody questions their sanity every now and again, but here lately, boy, I feels like it's answering me back. But then, then I heard, through the mournful sound of them raw, dark winds of destruction and despair that are pretty well constantly whistling through my mind, I heard about the world's first ever standard plan for workplace mental health and safety. They're calling it the standard. Sure, see, I got on the work boots, you know, to protect my feet on the job, and now, now at last, somebody got a plan to protect and guard my mind on the job. Well, what's it going to be like? Is it going to be like next to the Insight eyewash station? Is there going to be a, what, a serenity station where if I'm in some kind of emotional emergency, I can just smash the glass or... Or say, say, just for instance, that my anxiety is real high and my mood is real low. Will there be some kind of mental health safety jacket, an orange one I can put on, to keep the chunksters and them off my back and, and protect me from workplace stressors and harassments? Or, or just say, just say I'm in free fall from one more on-the-job crisis. Can you come up with some kind of, you know, belt, safety belt or safety harness that I can lock in the mental health even though I'm in free fall. None of that is on the go yet, but what there is, is a mental health first aid course which everybody got to have, like CPR. Oh yeah, and go on, go on in and tell your boss to sign up, sign up for the standard. I'm going to do it. I'm going into the chunksters. Not, not today, maybe, but, you know, soon, I'm going in, as soon as I get that safety belt. Hi, I'm Mary Walsh. I just wanted to say how sorry I am not to be there with you in Toronto today, because the whole initiative for workplace mental health and safety is so important, now probably more than ever, where so many Canadian workers are under such pressure and duress. And I want to say congratulations to the people who are going to take part in the case study, and a big kudos to the Mental Health Commission of Canada. Have a great time.